Hello again, I am Blunty, and that right there is, is Mr. Test. He's my test character for the Oblivion uh, remaster thing, just to make sure I've got all my settings dialed in and check a few things out, make sure a couple of mods and stuff are working before I stream this game. Um, by the way, mods are mods work just fine. Here's a mod, I've got a bedroll and a, a little chest and a little candle sitting over here outside where there normally isn't one. Well, you come out of the tutorial, tu 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 tu. <laughs> come out of the tutorial, calm down, speak slowly from the sewers. Uh, yeah, normally this stuff not here, but um, yeah, nice little convenience mod just to check where the mods are working. But um, let's go into first person for this. It works better in first person. So, <laughs> title of this video, look at that, look at that. Can you see it already? Just underneath my sword there. Bring up shield. Um, yeah, that, um, that weird reflection stuff that's going on that doesn't look right. I mean, I've got ray tracing turned on. I've got it maxed out, in fact, so all the ray tracing stuff looks really nice. But what's going on with that little weird counter reflection coming off my sword? Um, yeah, well, that's um, that's a problem I've seen a lot of people have a bit of a whine about. And uh, this game does something really weird that most games with ray tracing don't do. Uh, at least, don't do it like this. It uses screen space reflections and ray traced reflections at the same time to try and co compensate for one another or something. I don't know why they're doing it, but look, if you're having that issue and you don't like it, uh, what you need to do is. Where the bloody hell is it again? There it is. Screen space reflections. So, in your menu, in your little screen thingy there where your graphics options are, screen space reflections off. My changes, come back. Hey, that weird reflection of the sword is gone. Now, your mileage may vary depending on what your reflections look like, depending on uh, how much of the ray tracing you can actually run. And again, this game does use ray tracing, whatever you do, basically. We did look at a mod that turns off ray tracing completely in uh, the previous video. But yeah, it either uses hardware ray tracing, if you've got a uh, hardware ray tracing capable GPU to accelerate it, or it uses a software one. They both have largely the same results. Um, and we can sort of turn this right down to low here and I can see that. So the, 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 there's a little less detail in those, in those reflections now. But it still looks pretty damn good. But let's turn that back up again. Uh, but there's one more thing you might have noticed. So you can probably see it clear, most clearly on the shield. I'm going to pull the shield up. There's a bunch of trailing lines behind that. That's another issue I'm seeing a lot of people, uh, even streamers, uh, have. And just sort of not know what's going on there and not know how to fix that if it, if it bothers them. I've seen a lot of uh, chat rooms complain about it and ask about it. And I've seen a lot of people in social media and Reddit and whatnot uh, complain about it as well. So let's talk about what's going on there. Look, look at the sword. Look at those trailing lines around the sword. Not so bad when it's in fast motion, but yeah, when it's moving slow like that, ugh. So, what's going on there? Well, that's probably, you're thinking, do your upscaling technique with FSR right there. So let's just go ahead and turn that off. And hit apply there, and okay, so we're still getting some trailing. Look at that. The ghosting is not nearly as bad as it was, but it's still there. So that is um, part of the ray tracing, basically. So the way ray tracing, I mean, pretty much every game with ray tracing has this effect in one way or another to a greater or lesser extent. Um, even things like uh, Cyberpunk, you'll see it sometimes in certain areas. If you go looking for it, you can see sort of evidence of that. And that's basically because, well, ray tracing does trace the rays of light. It doesn't actually do it at light speed. <laughs> so there's always a little bit of lag, a little bit of slow light leakage of where stuff used to be. So that's what that's about. Uh, fortunately, you can sort of remedy it a bit. Uh, if we go to the Intel XCSS upscaling technique there, and we use that, you can see, oh, it's quite a bit reduced. Um, and I think that's partly because uh, Intel's uh, upscaler does do a bit of math to help reduce the amount of general artifacting there is from the upscaling itself. And I think as a byproduct, it kind of sort of uh, helps reduce the amount of trailing from that ray tracing effect as well. If someone knows better than I do exactly what's going on technologically here, please, you know, explain it to me because I'm a layman when it comes to this sort of stuff. I, I have general knowledge of many things and maybe I'm on the wrong track here, but I can tell you what works and what doesn't work in my experimenting here. And what works is turning off screen space reflections and just using ray trace stuff. It's fine. It is a, <laughs> it's a remaster of a 20 year old game. It's not meant to look photorealistic to begin with. Um, so yeah, just turning off the screen space reflections, whatever you're going to miss out by doing that is absolutely fine because the ray tracing still looks pretty damn good, even when it's on its lowest setting. Uh, but yeah, if you the, the, those trailing things you're still dealing with, yeah, try Intel's upscaler. 
Um, and you really do want to be running an upscaler with this game because you do want to turn on as many of the nice cities as possible. And Intel's upscaler is quite nice. I prefer it over AMD's in a lot of games. Um, again, in Cyberpunk, as a matter of fact, I get much better results using Intel's upscaler than AMD's upscaler in Cyberpunk. Um, one of these days, uh, FSR 4.0 is going to become available more generally. Right now, you can only use it with the very latest graphics card that AMD have. Um, but they are working on making it more available to previous gen uh, graphics cards as well. Once that becomes available, it's going to be really nice because that is really, really good. And it makes m massive leaps forward in uh, what it's capable of dealing with. Um, and in many cases, it's better than NVIDIA's own DLSS. And because of the amount of confusion about exactly what's going on with these trails and people blaming different things and trying different magic tricks and voodoo to get rid of them, um, it's been hard to track down reliable sources on this. But if anyone wants to do the same experiments I've just done, just turn on and off the various settings that I've been talking about today. And you have an NVIDIA card using DLSS, uh, with or without the DLSS replacer trick that some of you know about. Um, yeah, let me know how you get on with DLSS in these trails, but for now, all I can tell you is to uh, to minimize them as best I can. Uh, you're going to want to sort of go Intel, XESS, whatever mode that works best for you to get you to 60 at whatever resolution you want to be running at. Uh, as you can see here, even though I'm on a 4K screen, I'm actually running at 1440p because quite frankly, the art style, the textures, the way this game presents, 1440p and 4K pretty much look identical, and I'll be streaming at 1080p anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, oh, just, just while we're on it, just while we're on the page here, I'm going to congratulate the devs for having Motion Blur off by default. I scream about this in every game that launches. Why is it on by default? I've got a nice screen with very fast refresh rates to avoid my image being blurry and smeary. Don't turn Motion Blur on by default, and uh, yeah, these guys absolutely had it off by default, so hooray for you. So yeah, screen page perfection's off, uh, Intel upscaler, uh, and uh, whatever ray tracing sort of works best for you, preferably the hardware mode if you can, um, but the software one you'll get away with as well. So actually, let's just check that right now. So just to prove my point here, we'll go to the uh, RT. Actually, you know what? We'll put down the lowest one just to prove the point. The software based ray tracing, fire that. And as you can see, no weird trailing going on there. And a little bit extra trailing versus the hardware one, maybe. Very, very slight anyway, but you have to look for it to see it. And that's kind of the point, because the other way was, you know, extremely obvious and very, very distracting all of the time. And the word for a game like this is, of course, immersion. So we want to maintain as much immersion as possible uh, at all times. And that means reducing graphic uh, malarkey. So yeah, hopefully this has proved helpful and useful to you. I am bloody thinking it was always to the patrons who use above meal support. I appreciate very much. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go streaming with this thing now. I'm so, so looking forward to getting this proper. I haven't done any questing or anything. I've got into like a couple of mines to test out the lighting in the mines and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I've just been wandering around testing stuff and I really want to play the game properly. God damn it. So I can't freaking wait. Um, right, yes, thank you. Uh, peace out. Bye.